In the class, we have learned ways to trap charged particles, but clearly these methods fail for neutral atoms. Have you ever wondered how to trap a neutral particle? We have primarily two methods, one using magnetic fields and the other using lasers. For the first method, the atom should have a small magnetic dipole moment and must be placed in a space varying magnetic field. If the magnetic dipole is aligned to seek a position where the field is weakest, it will remain aligned in the weak field seeking orientation and is thus trapped. Now for lasers, when a photon is incident on an atom, it is absorbed and momentum gain occurs in the direction of the incident laser beam. This is termed as scattering force, which depends on the rate of photon scattering. A force equal to 100,000 times the gravitational pull of Earth can be achieved at a scattering rate of 10 million photons per second. The researchers were confident of realizing the traps with this force. But the optical Unshaw theorem made it impossible to fashion a light trap out of any configuration of light beams if the scattering force is proportional to the light intensity. This problem has been resolved by the structures called optical molasses where a space faring magnetic field is applied along with the laser action in the three perpendicular directions. Thus, the scattering force is no longer proportional to the intensity of the incident photon. A new method for the trapping is suggested by making the atom land in a particular quantum state, which is a combination of two states with two distinct velocities close to zero. Once in this state, the chance of scattering more photons is greatly reduced. Thus, the atoms are cooled by letting them randomly walk into a velocity trapped quantum state. These concepts find application in optical tweezers atomic inferferometry and scientific experiments where properties of new particles can be determined. Optical tweezers help in physically holding and moving microscopic objects. They have been particularly successful in studying a variety of biological systems to measure bond strengths in proteins, manipulating small bacteria or cells without damaging them and so on.